a quick demonstration of how to build a website using Google site. So first you need to have Google Workspace account. So if you have your Google Workspace account, um, from your dashboard, there is a nine dot buttons on top right corner. Um, click on that button. That's where it can get all the Google apps available that comes by default, you know, on the Google Workspace. So from here, click on Google site and from Google site, this page you can either build the site from scratch which is blank or you want to build it from a template i always suggest to start it with the template um, because it's guided and uh, it gives you you know an idea what kind of content that you're able to feature is, um, according to the purpose of you building the site so for example if i want to build a personal portfolio i'll just click on this templates given and once you click on the templates, you'll be directed to your editing page. Um, so this is your editing page. From the given portfolio templates, um, Google Sites recommend you to have three pages here. You can see it comes by default. Your home page, about page, and also product page. So um, from home page, the content that's suggested by them is start with, you know, a, a uh, one single statement by telling people who you are, uh, pictures of yours, and the selected word, and scroll all the way down is how to get in touch with you, right? So this is the uh, layout and content suggested by uh, Google site under the templates of portfolio. But once you reach here to update your site, um, I would suggest you to go start with here, which is the Teams. Um, Teams is where that you can choose the design, right? Overall design of your site. According to the templates given here, you have the layout, you have the structure of your site, you have the suggested content of your site, but you also have to look into the design part of it. For example, what would be the color scheme and how the font type would look like. So under simple teams here you still you, you can see three different options where you have light classic and heavy if i choose classic then you could see this instant reflex on the left hand side where the style of the the design of the phone right um would change accordingly and not just the headline but also all this um, title and also body copy it changed to classics version so and also the color scheme for example if i choose this one then you'll be able to you know change look at the instant changes as well on the left so how do you select teams is all depends on your brand um, identity so if you're building this for your personal portfolio then worth to look into your personal branding but if you're building a site for your business then um, it's always good to look into the brand guidelines of yours right so again start with themes where before you start uh, before you add the entire sites so always start with themes and the second thing here is to look into pages um pages would be the total you know pages available for your website so and it would reflect instantly on a top menu on top here this is what we call as a top menu um for example here you have home page you have about page you click on this page that's where you can see the about page you know layout suggested layout and the content and if i click on project page then it would be you know your suggested content again and also the the structure or layout of the site um so if you want to add pages right home about project page if for example if i want to say one top menu and say and uh, allows the users to find out the ways to contact me so i want to add a page uh, for uh, contact me so just click on this app buttons at the bottom and click on new page if i want to put contact um, that's the name that would features on the menu and done that's where you could see instant reflect again on the left contact and if I want to change the sequence of the uh, page from this top menu, I can always just right click that particular page and drag to the positions that I want it to be featured. So like this, I just click on that 
that particular page and drag up let's see this menu change from the last one to now uh, the third one here right so simply just you know click and drag and if you wanted to add a menu but not a page but you know somewhere that the users click on the button or menu uh, it directs them to a different url or different like destination point then i can simply just add new link um, when would you be able to use that as for example you want them to direct them to a different site or you want them to direct to a dedicated page right um, then you can use link for example if i said um, to find more about the course i want them to go to the course that i've conducted uh, with the rabbit academy so i want to just put new link and direct the users to rabbit academy that's the url or that's the um site uh domains right the links that would direct the users to the page so i'll just put here sign up and there you go you were able to see a sign up button here reflects again instantly here on the top menu and when the users click on sign up button um, they would land on rabbit academy website okay so that's pages the second thing um once you have planned you know how many pages in total for you to build your site from here um, it's always the good there as a, a structure we the the recommended steps again is to plan the entire we call it the wireframe or you know the the site structures that you have for the website then only we look into the content building for each of the page so if you want to um, add the, the content for each of the page that's where you could go insert here and from here you're able to add the tags just click on that text element you can change hi my name is um, whoever right my name is like ABC and uh, and I'm looking for so my name is ABC for example and you want to put your your pictures this is where you could change and replace it from this three buttons added to options you can just replace an image by upload the image accordingly and same thing if you want to change this element you just simply click on the element and start you know um, typing it and here is all this um, placeholder where you you're able to just click on this and edit um, replace the the slides and also here replace the pictures and also the videos right so if you want to add a new element you can always just select from this section this area and for example if i want to put that particular layout i just click on this layout and i drag it over again to this page on the left and if i wanted to duplicate this for example i need a title right section header to tell people what is this all about um, if i just pick here this new layout structure i also need a header to tell people what is this all about so i probably need one more you know um, header um, you can duplicate this section and simply just again click right click and drag this header over the place that you want it to be so you drag it over here and that's where you get overall structures once you have this overall structure you start filling the blank right you start filling the blank and remember there's always a top header and also a footer that um, usually on the top header here you have your site menu because you need to have a site menu or navigation bar for users to understand how to you know move around in your website right and usually you would also have your logo and your business name so this is a portfolio it could be your name on top and tell people who you are um, on the, the the hater so all the way down to footer the footer is, um, is always recommended to be the call to action uh, phase like for example um, the uh, where to find you right your location or um, a summary of you again it's a reminder of for the users after they look through the entire page and then you know that's where 
um, they wanted to understand, f- remind them who you are. So that header and footer will be consistent across different pages. Let me just put here like um, contact me or you know find me on a social, connect me on social, connect me um, at the social for example, right? So if you click this, this is your footer, usually header and footer would be the same across different pages. So if I go to about this page, you will see the same header, you can see the same footer. Same goes to the other pages here, same footer and same header. Okay, so once you have um, updated the content of your site, um, always remember to preview, just previewed it and you need to look into desktop version, tablet versions, and you know phone version just to remember everything is work best or optimized you know, at a different devices. So if this is done, after you have done all the content editing, just click on publish and put in the site name, like this is portfolio, right? And that's where you can see the current um, domains that under your car, your Google Workspace account. For example, this is my Grading Solutions Google, uh, Workspace account. So you could see site.google, my, the Workspace account, and also the site name. Um, published it. And remember when you published it, sorry, you have to make sure that um, it, it is published the site to public instead of instead of your own company. So make sure it's public viewing and then you know you're able to to show it to the public. So this site is published from now. Go back to your Google site and from your Google site you can see this is the sites that you have published and click on this three dot buttons opening a new tab to edit it if you wanted to update you know your site from time to time or um, take a look at the site again the published sites with your domain right so this is look into your published site and uh, it means it's live right it's live and here will be the top url that you have so in order to um, give yourself a custom domain right because you, this is your site but you want to have your own uh, customized domain so that you have if it's a business usually that is always good to have your domain with that reflects your business name because that's what you want the users to find you so in order to change that domain you just have to go to your admin console right it's admingoogle.com your admin console you can see the domain here um, if you have your domain you can always add a domain um, and um, you know you, if you bought your domain from somewhere else like GoDaddy or so you can always add a domain here or um, if you already have your domain here with Google then you can simply just go to app and you could go to workspace and site click on this and scroll all the way down to find custom URL so custom URL here uh, click on that and that's where you could see you know the custom URLs that are available for your site. You can always add a custom URL on top, you know, plus button here. So select new site, the sites that you have created. Um, in this case, like sitegoogle.com, uh, greening solutions portfolio. So click on this, add continue, and choose if it would reflect automatically with the with whichever domains that you have added to your Google Workspace. So choose the domain that you have added and continue the setting by changing the C name of your um, domain. Okay, so that's how you could update um, all this domain, and also that's how you are able to see you know a site builds from using Google Site.